It's October and you know what that means. Spiders. Big, hairy, creepy spiders sneaking inside, trying to find themselves a spider friend to have some spider fun with. Well, not in my house, thank you very much. The trouble is, Lego keeps making sets with spiders in, and I keep buying those sets. Don't be like me. If you don't like spiders, then these are the top 10 sets you will want to avoid. Hello everyone, and welcome to Second Brick to the Left. I'll be starting from the least creepy all the way up to the creepiest Lego set featuring spiders. Warning, I will be sharing pictures of Lego spiders, maybe the occasional cartoon one, but no actual spiders. If that bothers you, maybe just listen along to this video. Spider-Man gets a free pass and won't be on this list. Let's count them down. At 10, we're starting off with a Lego Harry Potter set. It's the Forbidden Forest Magical Creatures, released in 2024. This set features a small scene from the Forbidden Forest with a fantastic blue and purple colour palette, as well as several glow-in-the-dark pieces. The selection of creatures is fantastic, including an adorable baby Thestral, Buckbeak, a Cornish Pixie and a Bat. I'm sure you've already spotted the spider in the middle of this set on its web. It won't be so hard to miss in the dark either, because it glows in the dark. Extra creepy. At 9, we're keeping with Lego Harry Potter with Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Where's the spider, you ask? Very good question. The little bugger's hidden. Underneath the whole thing is this. It's in bag one, so you don't get to do any of the building blissful ignorance. In the booklet, we get this cryptic message. What's this spider doing brushing its fangs? Maybe you'll find out later in the build. No, I don't want to know. Oh, this is supposed to be an educational video. The Magical Menagerie build next to Gringot sells fang brushes. Look, there's this delightful sticker too. Great. I love knowing the spiders have big fangs like that. Lovely. I'm very concerned for future me. I'm going to forget that spider is there. I'm going to move the set or clean it, and I'm going to see it lurking in there and think it's real. And I'm going to run out of there, sell my house, Lego included in the purchase. Or one day I'm going to move the set, and it'll fall out onto my foot and I'll chuck Gringotts probably at my foot, or in another logical direction that will take someone or something out. Either way, can we just stop hiding Lego spiders inside things? Baradur, I'm onto you. You're lucky you didn't make it onto this list, but I've seen that hidden spider. At 8, we have the spider tank from The Mandalorian. Did you expect to see Lego Star Wars in this list? Star Wars is supposed to be safe for arachnophobes. But no, there's a whole tank shaped like a spider. And this one sucks your blood out. New spider fear unlocked? I've spoken about this set before and the lack of the very creepy pilot dude. If the pilot had been included, it might have been higher on this list. At 7, we have a Lego Ninjago set. It's City of Sticks from 2015. This spooky set featured a tall temple with plenty of interactive elements, as well as a ghost ship and several smaller builds. The colour palette of this set was interesting, and the spiders are no different. This set came with four transparent neon green spiders. You can't miss those. There were several stickers featuring spiders too. This set is literally crawling with them. Although you might want to avoid the spiders in this set, can we admire the Ghost Ninja minifigures? Those are awesome. I love the transparent neon green legs and heads. At 6 we have Sandy Speedboat from the Monkey Kid theme. This set came with a speedboat, a mech, a cave build and some figures. 
I'm sure you can already see why this set is on this list. Let's zoom into the Spider Queen with her spider mech and her spider cave. And lots of smaller spiders. Ooh, at least the mech comes with a place to keep the spiders in. The Spider Queen is so creepy with that headpiece. But I have to say though, her dress is stunning. The pattern of that printing is really nice. Shame about the spider theme necklace though. At 5 we have Sparatus' Spider Stalker from Lego Chimera. At almost 300 pieces, this spider is indeed huge. If its sharp pointed legs weren't creepy enough, it has red eyes and bright green fangs. The spider is capable of shooting bright green web pieces. I usually love interactive elements on sets, but I'm not sure about this one though. This set comes with a minifigure of Sparatus. Lego Chimera fans will know him as a member of the Spider Tribe. Don't sign me up. His body reflects spider characteristics and he even has some web on him. His weapon features a black spider. I'm not sad he's not in my minifigure collection. And the torture isn't over yet. This set comes with a red spider. Because nothing screams totally safe in nature as much as a red arachnid. At 4 we're going back to 2012 for this Lego Hobbit set, Escape from Workwood Spiders. This was a small but deadly set, coming in at just 298 pieces. But that piece count gets you two large spider builds, two black spider pieces and one glow in the dark spider piece. If the spiders themselves weren't creepy enough, the two smaller accompanying builds featuring black and red pieces and parts of skeletons are just charming. Oh, and there are little cocoons to put the minifigures into. Well, that just might be the worst fate imaginable for a minifigure. Me suggesting you feed Dolores Umbridge to Bruce the Shark from the Jaws set doesn't seem so bad now, does it? Before we get into our top three, a small reminder, my debut novel is on sale now from many of the places you can buy books. You'd think there would be no spiders in space, and especially not in a book written by me. Except there is. One of the crew of the Starship Vesta has a pet tarantula. If spiders aren't your thing, be aware of chapter 41. Getting a copy is a great way to support me and my channel. More information in the description box below. At 3 we have Indiana Jones Temple of the Golden Idol. This set was released in 2023 and featured an impressive set of interactive booby traps. There are three spider pieces hiding in this set. They're all located in bag three and of course they are some of the last pieces placed, so you'll be building the whole bag with those creepers looking at you. Their placement on the set is always very visible, including this one located in a web and several crawling across the ground. Yuck. If three spiders weren't creepy enough, this minifigure says it all. Satibo, why so scared? Oh, oh no! What is worse than a spider crawling up your back? Two spiders crawling up your back? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Indy doesn't get out unscathed either. He has a two-sided head and if we flip that around? Ugh, spider to the face. At two, we have Shelob Attacks from Lego Lord of the Rings. This was released in 2012. I'm sure I don't need to explain why this giant spider has made it onto the list in second place. Look at the size of that thing in relation to the minifigures. I know they're hobbits, but still, huge. Shelob comes with webbing to capture your minifigures too, ready to feast on their blood. She has some impressive fangs and way too many eyes. The end of her legs are pointed and deadly. She's got a big butt too. She love measures 17 centimeters long. That's a whole lot of spider. Ugh. And finally, at one, can you guess what it is? I'm sure longtime viewers of the channel would have gotten this. The number one Lego set you should avoid if you don't like spiders is 
all the Aragog sets from Lego Harry Potter. Okay, so I'm cheating by having multiple sets at number one, but they are similar in the fact they feature a giant model spider, Aragog. Yes, I know that's an acromantula, but giant spider sums it up. They're all creepy, although the latest is the creepiest. We saw the first Aragog set all the way back in 2002, but he's been reintroduced several times since, including earlier this year. He doesn't come alone and often brings some of his children. I'm with Ron on this. So creepy. I will say one thing about these different sets though. The evolution of the design has been pretty impressive. The 2002 version was very basic and didn't really look much like Aragog's design. Over time we've seen the body take a more rounded shape to reflect Aragog's appearance and the face has become more detailed and angry. We're at the point now where if you saw Aragog from a distance it looks like a real spider and that is the reason why this is the number one set to avoid if you don't like spiders. That brings us to the end of the list. Do you agree with my rankings? Are there any sets you think should have been on this list? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more LEGO content. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!